Matt Wheat, JP Nelson, Jeremy Roy, Taylor Potter, Cody Mitchell, Chase Dickerson, Lyle Gully, Taylor Marks, <laughs> I'm Matt Minshew, Donald Williamson, Brandon Woodall, Chad Kilcrease, Jake Lemons. Accountability, guys. We group you up in partners, whether it be search team, writ team, attack team, something like that. I don't want to see somebody walk off and go to the other side of the building and leave their partner sitting beside them or sitting on the other end. I mean, I don't want to see that at all. You, everywhere your partner goes, you're going, right? Uh, the only thing I really noticed uh, the whole day, this is the first time y'all have done uh, hoses in buildings. you have done a lot of searches. We introduced the hoses. It's a lot more work, a lot more challenging, a lot more physically demanding. and. I was impressed. I didn't hear very many bells going off. That means you're using your air very, very well. I know you're focused on getting the dummy and then getting back in there, but you need to know, like we always said from day one, your safety is number one, you know what I mean? So just check it. Be aware of your air. You can check it in the building if you can see. When you come out, just kind of keep in mind how much you have left. But I didn't hear any bells ringing too much today, so I'm impressed. The um, only thing I've got, guys, is uh, the communication. There was uh, a lot of people that would be at the top of the stairs trying to yell down to somebody who was in the front half of this section of the building over here and uh, you can't really do that. You've got to actually make a face-to-face -face, uh, meeting. You've actually got to sit there and, and go meet your partner and talk to him, um, especially in a three-man crew. Uh, it's almost like you need to have a mini game plan inside the building every, every time something changes or you know you get the fire knocked out. All three of you need to get back together for a second and say, okay, you're going to go take the hose out, whatever. Things I want you to take home are try to maintain your orientation inside the building at all times. You notice when we went to down firefighter <laughs> simulations, when y'all called maydays, you didn't give your position very good at all. you got to make sure when you're going in, you're keeping track all the time that I'm on the B side of the building or I'm on the back side of the building, the C side, or I'm at the stairwell you got to keep that orientation the entire time because it lets you know where all your exits are. If you get in trouble, it lets you know where your writ needs to be able to come in to get to you, uh, where your victim locations are. If you find a victim and you need help getting them out and you don't know where you are, it's going to be really hard to get a crew in to help you because they don't know where to go. So maintain your orientation at all times. What We had a firefighter go down. What, what, was, uh, what was the problem that the writ team had? We didn't know exactly where he was. There you go. The information that you get from your, your fallen guy is not always going to be accurate because he may not know exactly where he is in that building. Okay, We're going to work off the best knowledge that we have and work as quick as we can. It took you all a little bit longer to find him than it did the first group. If one of us goes down, then more than likely you're not going to be able to call your own mayday. Your partner's going to have to call it for you. Okay, 